How is it going everybody? You're watching The Nobel Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. How to fully edit any PDF that you want. And when I say fully edit, I do mean it. I'm talking about edit text, you can edit any image and of course this will work for any PDF that you own or that you have downloaded. On top of that, of course, there are some amazing AI tools that will help you so, so much on your day-to-day -day life and productivity and so much more. Let's get started. You're gonna love this. Okay, so this, of course, is not native. You're gonna need a proper PDF editor to do those amazing things. And I'm gonna present you today a software called Tenorshare PD Knob, as you're already seeing right there. And I wanna straight right off the bat link you to their website. There are some amazing deals going on right now, so I'm gonna have a direct link in the description. And as you can see, we have here PDF editor, so you can edit, you can do OCR. If you don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you in a second. This is for scanned PDFs, it's incredible. And of course, you can go ahead and free download it right now. There's a free trial, you can test it out. And also, this is fully universal. So it'll work for both Windows and Mac OS as well. Okay, so again, direct link in the description. Test it out, get PDNOB right now, you won't regret it, all right? But of course, this is not just me telling you. I'm gonna show you right now what it can do in action. So let me go ahead and get that PDF file once again. It's super easy to open. You can just double click or of course drag to PDNOB. And right here, I wanna show you what's probably the coolest and most useful feature, which is the editing. As you can see right here, we have edit, so we can edit all, so text and image, or just edit text or just edit image. I'm gonna go ahead and edit all because this is gonna be faster for us. As you can see right here, it's gonna detect every single text there is on this document. Okay, so right here, for example, we have welcome to PD knob. And as you can see, it recognizes it and it picks up already the exact same font, everything. So if I want to, I can say, for example, let's delete it. So welcome PD knob. But of course, that's incorrect. So let me go ahead once again and say, welcome to PD knob. And I can say whatever I want. I can keep writing like so this is of course it's gonna look ugly but as you can see it's perfect you got the same text font color so absolutely perfect and as i mentioned before you can do this for any pdf not only your own pdfs but any pdf you download it's gonna recognize and let you add instantly as you can see and you can do it for images as well so there's this image it automatically identified as well you can click on it and then you can move it around let's say i want to move it to the top a little bit more it moves to the top so as you can see it's going to work perfectly it also identifies the background as well so if you click on it and then move around you can completely move it off the page as you can see so that's white right now meaning that you can do whatever you want with your pdfs and with your images of course you can fully customize it and you can keep going and do it for every single page of your pdf again click on it move it around and then you can do whatever you want so if there are images like that a logo it recognizes as well, you can move it to if you want to put it somewhere else and do whatever you want with your documents. And of course, when I say edit, I also mean delete and add stuff. For example, let's say I don't like this image, I can click on it, I can delete it, it's gone. And let's say I want to add an image that I have, it's not part of the PDF, right? So I can go ahead and drag from my computer, drop, as you guys can see, it's going to add the image to my PDF and convert and do all the work. And as you can see right here, I can simply go ahead, resize it. I can use the shift key if I wanna maintain the perfect dimensions. And of course, I can also move it around and put it exactly where I want. Again, just adjusting the size and the dimensions. And then of course, we can go ahead and move it and place it exactly where we want it. Let's say we want it right here. So pretty good, huh? So remember when I was talking about scans? So let's say you scanned a book or any document. You may have scanned it from an actual printer or from a phone, like you use this scan document tool on your phone, right? Let me show you what PDNOB can do with that. So I've got here this scan document. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it right here in PDNOB. And as you can see, right off the bat, 
it's asking us to perform OCR. And what that is, is it'll actually transform this scan, which it automatically detected. As you can see, this is a scanned PDF. So as you can see, your typical scan right here, and you'll be able to do so much with it. So let's go ahead and perform OCR. And as you can do first, we can actually scan it to an editable text. What does that mean? I'm gonna show you. So perform OCR. It's processing, as you can see, in front of our eyes. It's super fast, actually. And we can actually do everything we were doing before with a typical PDF. So we can edit, we can remove and add text, images, and so on, but from an actual scan. How amazing is that? So let me show you. This, as you can see, is just a sample. So this is actually like a manual from a teleprompter. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a bit because this is quite small. So let me go for 50%. And as I scroll down, as you can see, there's text here from the scan, and I can actually do everything I was doing before. So as you can see, the focal length, let's say I'm gonna say the focal length is whatever. So as you can see right here, I'm doing the exact same kind of editing I was doing before on a typical PDF, editing text and so on, but on an actual scan. How cool is that? And of course, I can move images as well, so I can move them around just like I was doing before. <laughs> Guys, this is a scan, and I can move it around and manipulate and edit completely normally. And of course, after I'm done with my editing, I can simply go ahead, file as I showed you before, and I can just export or save however I wish. I can just save this as a new PDF at my desktop. As you can see, scan document OCR, save it. And then as you can see, it's gonna be right here with my editing. But as I also mentioned, OCR can do more than that. So when we perform an OCR, we can also scan to searchable text. So if I go ahead here and select the second option and perform OCR, I can easily actually search for any text that's on my scan. So again, let's say I scan a book or a large document. It's super easy to find text, easily search, inside that scan. So I can go ahead here, click on the search button, and then let's say I wanna look for focal. Remember we had focal, right? There we go, focal length right here. It selects exactly where it is, right there, absolutely perfect. But of course, with PDNob, we can also convert from PDF to other different formats. As you can see right here, we can convert PDFs to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. So not only to PDF, but also from PDF to any other format. So as you can see right here, we have this PDF, we have just converted, right? It was a doc and we converted to PDF. Let's go ahead and click here on the convert PDF feature. We can easily select it, which is gonna be this guy right here. So PDF, this one. So let's open it up. And as you can see right here, we have the file, the PDF file, and we can easily convert to whatever we want. For example, to Word. So let's convert it back to Word. So right here we have Word, of course, the source directory. Uh, so the output would be the same as uh, the file itself is at the moment. So let's go ahead and convert. And as you can see, it's gonna convert it right here. It opens up the page desktop, but of course it also automatically saved right here at the bottom. So as you can see, we can easily convert any document from any format to PDF. And of course, from PDF, to another format. Now, let me go ahead and reopen this PDF file and let's say I wanna merge it. So instead of editing, deleting and adding image and so on, let's say I wanna merge PDF documents. I have multiple PDF documents and I wanna merge them into one big one. This is so useful and so good for productivity, for study and work. So let's go ahead here and click on merge PDF and then I have here my main one, which is this one, which is seven pages. But let's say I wanna get more PDFs together to create one big one. So I can add files and then I can go to desktop. And then I have, let's say, that script that we have created and our scanned document. I'm gonna click on both. So we now can open it and we now have three, actually three PDFs, but I wanna have just one. So if I merge, 
As you can see right here, it's gonna merge, it's gonna choose everything, it's gonna show me everything. I can scroll down and I can see that I have everything that I want. I have here right in front my first one, and then as I scroll down, I have our scan document and we have here our script. And then of course, all you have to do is the same thing I showed you before, all you have to do is save it. So file, save as, and then of course, choose the location, save it, and then you're gonna have one PDF document which used to be a bunch separated and now it's just one. Now, I wanna show you something else. Let's talk about AI. So if I actually click once again here on edit and edit text, and I go ahead and click on any text and I double click on it, we have right here AI. So let's say I wanna actually use AI for this portion, this paragraph. So as I select it, as you can see, we have the little pop-up window with the AI option. As I click here, I have quite a lot of possibilities. I can go ahead and go for polishing. So let's say I wanna change the tone of that text and I wanna make it more colloquial, so more informal, or I wanna make it more formal or lively and so on. So you can easily do that. So let's go ahead and go for formal, for example. And it's gonna help you right there and create out of the blue a new text with that tone that you want, which you can easily copy and then paste it right back to the original document. So this is so, so cool. But it's not only that. So let me go ahead and select once again and go for AI. So we can go ahead and abbreviate. We can go ahead and ask for explanation, for continuation, as you can see right here, and even translation as well, which is so useful. It can live translate for you which can be a lifesaver. So having all of those AI tools built in inside your PDF editor, it's just like priceless. Because imagine not having to copy and then paste your text, your information to a third party like chat thing. Like it's not the same thing, right? Like having it right here built in, super convenient, so easily, like this is truly priceless. And of course, Last but not least, as you could probably already tell, there are no watermarks or anything like that. When you go ahead and save any of your documents right here with PDNob, there are no watermarks. And we know a lot of other editors do that. PDNob doesn't do it, so it looks extremely professional. So go ahead and test out Tenorshare PDNob right now. This is such an amazing PDF editor. You have no idea. I have a direct link in the description so you can go ahead and test it out for your Mac or for your Windows PC. There are some amazing deals going on right now at the moment. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye bye.